Well, it's back with more Mordens and back in the 401 suite. So as you would have seen on the ceiling in the red bedroom, I'd done sort of like a basic outline of some panel work just to create the, the nine different panels for this room. Now it wasn't going to stay like that. We were going to add a little bit more to it just to sort of elaborate on it a bit. Now the thing with this room is that it's going to be based on the Strauss suite, which was the most opulent and obviously elaborate suite on the ship of the Titanic. And it was located on sea deck. Now this was a set of rooms, which Isidore and Ida Strauss occupied, which were the co-owners of Macy's in New York. So when they boarded the ship, they obviously had the most um, opulent suite on the ship. And it was those three rooms, which comprised of a sitting room, a bedroom and a, a bathroom. And that was their sort of cabin. Now the style for the room was based on a, a Regency style. So the Regency era was around about sort of 1811 to 1820. But it's believed that it was a little bit sort of longer the period from it. So you're looking at sort of around 1795 to 1837. And throughout that period, it sort of overlapped with the, the Georgian period. So it was George III, um, which was obviously uh, in reign at that time. And obviously it went on to his son, which was George IV, and then his brother, which was William IV as well. And throughout that whole period, you had the, the Georgian period, which we've used in the 400 salon. And then obviously we're going to use the Regency style over here in the 401. Obviously it came to the end when Queen Victoria came into power, which was 1837. But if you watch programs like Bridgerton, then Bridgerton set in the Regency period. So if you're watching that, then you'll sort of know a few bits about the, the styling and stuff like that. So this room is going to be one of my favorite because it's sort of based around that style. So today's job is cracking on with more of the moldings. Now I've been busy making all of these um, moldings for the ceiling and Reason being we're making them is so we can keep them all white and get them straight into place. Now, this is the Would You Bend product. Now we're gonna be using a couple more on the ceiling as well. And I'll put the link in the description to the items that we're actually using from Would You Bend. The actual Would You Bend product we're gonna be using for the paneling, as because now you know we're gonna be doing the wood effect on the paneling. The beauty of the Would You Bend is that we can actually stain it like proper wood. So once I've done a wood effect on the wall, I'll be able to use the wood you bend actually on the panelling. The reason I'm not using it on the ceiling is because I think I've bought them out of all of the products that we've got. I think in all for the panelling, we needed, I think it was just under 100 metres of this trim. So for the ceiling, I thought I'd just carry on making them to get it in place and use now easy it is. So all I'm going to do is tidy them up and then use some no more nails to stick it on, get them in place. And then like I said, I've got a couple more details to add on and then that'll be done. So I will crack on now and then we can get on with the other room.
Well, that's another sealing done. So we've got all of the mouldings up. Rob's been over and given it a lick of paint and already it's just looking brilliant getting it in. It's not the most elaborate ceiling that we're gonna have in the chateau, but it's just sort of more elegant and refined. Um, just having sink like this, I think because there's gonna be so much detail in the panels, the ceiling we wanted it to link in, but just be a little bit more elegant. So now that's done. He's been busy in the salon getting that painted. So that's all done as well. And that's all sorted. But the mouldings that I've just put up in the red bedroom, I'm going to do a border in the salon. So it links in with the two rooms. But now what I need to do is get into the room that everyone's been excited to see. It's going to be obviously the blue bedroom. Now we've seen obviously me putting the plaster work up on the ceiling. Now I need to sort of tidy the edge, get that sort of finished off, and then I'm gonna look at adding some more moldings just to the corner because the way it steps into the recess, it looks a bit too harsh having the 90 degree angle. So I'm gonna look at putting some more moldings on there and putting some plaster work on just to give sort of like a rounded finish. So it looks like there's an extra molding on. Now the reason being with this, this is gonna be based on obviously another Titanic suite. And this is the uh, lounge from the Titanic first class areas. So this was obviously a really elaborate um, Louis XV style room with all carved paneling. Unfortunately, we can't do that, but hopefully we're gonna do something similar to it on the panels. So again, all I'm gonna do is I've got my moldings. I'm gonna stick this on on the outside and then stick it on the inside and then I'm going to go over it with plaster. I'll be able to sand it and hopefully it'll all look super duper. So I will crack on now.
Well, I've been busy out in the garden sunbathing, no, sorting the terrace out. So I haven't been in here for the last couple of days, so I haven't seen what's been going on. And I haven't seen like how much it's changed and I've just walked in and seen this and it, I can't tell you like, it's only a little bit of detail, but it's just completely changed the feel of the room. It's just give it a, a grace and an elegance. And again, it's such a simple design. It, I, like I said, I can't, I can't put into words how, it, how it's completely changed, just the whole complexion of it. And you can imagine now how it's gonna look when we've got all of these panels. Now Terry's set himself up here because he's gonna have to do hundreds and hundreds of these molds. But with all of this and how it's all gonna look when it's all put together and it's just going to be a marvellous, marvellous room and, and like I say, it's, people are going to want to stay in here and you're going to want to be in here. But he's all, they've also been at the um, the blue bedroom as well. And I've just came in and obviously we've seen the bare shape of it coming together. We've seen the ceiling and everything coming together. But now seeing this and even just the bit of coven that's gone around the edges, it's just softened, it's dampened the feel of it, but it's, it's lifted it as well. And... It's, it's strange what it's done. Terry's obviously got all this in his head. He's amazing with this sort of stuff. But to see it like this and to, you can see it's starting to come together now. And these rooms are gonna move along so fast. As we're still working outside and inside right now, we're kind of split up between the, the groups of us, getting the garden sorted and getting in here sorted. But as, as autumn starts to come in and the, and the weather starts to set in, you'll see these rooms absolutely flying ahead because all the base work's being done. Rob and Terry have done some amazing work in here. Tracy as well just to get the rooms to these standards. And it means that we can keep making the molds. So Terry will keep firing them out as quick as he can. We can then look at getting the proper color paints on the walls and then start looking at all the detail as well. Again, Terry said, some I've seen some of the molds that he's got planned for this room and it is gonna be absolutely, it's just gonna be a wow factor. They, they are so intricate and so detailed. And like I say, it's a Louis the 15th style. And it is going to be over the top. It's going to be elaborate, but it's going to be refined in a way that it's, you're going to, you're just going to love it. You're all just going to love it. And like I say, we're absolutely loving it. And then even in here in the, just the basic elegance of this, uh, just something so simple. It, it's just, it just lifts the chateau up. It just makes it feel that little bit nicer. And with the ceilings, like with this on the ceilings now, the rooms feel bigger, they feel taller, and it, it's a much bigger, it's just a much bigger space. Well, I'm completely blown away with all of this. Like I said, I haven't seen, I haven't been in here in a couple of days, not, not properly and not looked around. So we hope you're blown away with it as well and hope you're enjoying all the work that's going on here. If you are, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and make sure you got the bell click for notifications. And we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. If you'd like to be part of our journey and help restore the chateau, then please join us on Patreon, where you'll be part of our journey, receive a piece of the history, and get exclusive videos.